Luke Boucher, uh, nice work here. You didn't quite get the uh, three feet win, but uh, you're up against a real uh, determined Mike Tate. Yeah, I think anybody that's looking for their first national title is, uh, you know, they definitely want it a lot. And uh, not that I was complacent by any means, but, uh, you know, I'm sure Mike had the fire burning and uh, he ran extremely well. So it was, uh, you know, congratulations to him. Yeah, let's talk about your race. Uh, so I guess you're wondering if the turkey trot was still in your legs that you ran a couple of days ago. And were you just holding back and hoping the uh, kick wouldn't... Uh, happened in the at the end of the race yeah you know I don't I don't think it played much of a role um, you know I felt pretty good uh, or the legs felt good I think it just uh, just the way the the falls played out I, I ran a track race in Japan in the middle of October and that was definitely the focus kind of all through September and October so I was definitely uh, you know everything was much more specific uh, on the track um, you know not nearly as much volume as I've done the past few falls uh, and then took, you know, took a couple uh, weeks kind of off and super light. And then uh, I did spend, you know, three weeks at altitude, uh, three and a half weeks up there. Um, but, you know, it's just coming, kind of getting back in the groove of things. And I think, uh, you know, just the way that uh, the fall is gone and, and the focus, uh, you know, I, you know, typically for me, I'm running lots of 90 miles, lots of 100 mile weeks <laughs> from, you know, September onwards. And I think I've hit 90 miles once. So, uh, um, it was a different focus, and I, uh, I liked my chances today, um, but I, I didn't really feel comfortable until the, even the last lap, it just felt fast. Just no, <laughs> no gears, just strong as an ox, but no, uh, no gears whatsoever, and uh, yeah, that hill, that hill is a bit of a bugger, and I uh, just gave Mike a little bit, a little bit too much, uh, you know, there, and coming through these hay bales kind of lost another step there. I think I was closing on him, but just left it uh, a little bit too late after giving him some space. Well, you look solid out there. It looks like you have a big aerobic engine, so you just didn't have it fine-tuned specifically for cross or 10K. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's all good work, and, and uh, it's unfortunate that uh, cross-country for us isn't uh, you know, as big an emphasis, but uh, it's uh, you know it's all kind of geared up for this for this spring and summer, and hopefully getting back to the Olympics. So, yeah, of course you're a 2016 Rio Olympian. You want to be a, a 2020 Tokyo Olympian, but uh, just over the horizon is the uh, 2020 Pan Am Cross Country Cup. So I know you got to focus on the 5,000. Are you going to? Uh, uh, came second here so you're on the team yeah yeah you know I think uh coach has it on the on the schedule as an option um it's really exciting that something like that is close to home it's not very often that you know family and friends could make the trip over and see something like that um but at the same time with the the qualification system for the olympics uh there's some big indoor races that are going on that time of year so we'll have to kind of you know go through and and uh pick and choose what what works best because at the uh you know, at the end of the day, uh, cross country isn't at the Olympics, and as much as I wish it was, we kind of have to, uh, you know, kind of streamline the focus this year for, for the track, so we'll have to see. All right, well, uh, nice work here, and uh, nice work uh, down in Silicon Valley with your 1411, and uh, good luck uh, going forward with your plans for Tokyo 2020. Thank you, appreciate it. So Mike Tate has a look over his shoulders. Boucher is in second place. And here we go, take it to the home straight, Boucher now right behind him, we're coming up to the finish line, we're coming up to the, the title, who's going to take this, 29 minutes of change, perfect time for time, he tries to line, the 2019 Canadian Cross Country Champion, fighting from Luke Boucher with a wonderful run yes. and Paul Black in third. Tremendous oh, run. This looks like Ben Croson now coming in fourth place. Wearing the white t-shirt. And the black arm.